Ladies and gentlemen, esteemed members of the press and fellow citizens, I stand before you today with a heavy heart and a profound sense of regret. I come before you to seek forgiveness. Forgiveness for not being able to bring back the six hostages alive. Although we were close, we did not succeed. And for this I humbly apologize. These six hostages, including the American-Israeli Hirsch Goldberg Poland, were captured during the devastating attack by Hamas militants on October 7th. This attack will forever be etched in our nation's history as one of the most devastating incidents, leaving countless lives shattered and families torn apart. Tragically, it claimed the lives of one, 200 innocent people, and took 253 others hostage. The recent discovery of their bodies in a Gaza tunnel has sent shockwaves of grief and outrage throughout our beloved land. It's a pain that resonates deeply within me, as I know it does within each and every one of you. Our streets have been flooded with hundreds of thousands of people united in their demand for justice and accountability. I offer my apology today in response to the mounting pressure and criticism that we, as a government, have faced. We acknowledge that we have not handled this hostage crisis in the way that you, the people, expected and deserved. We deeply regret our inability to bring these brave souls back to their families safely. Their loss is a burden we share. Yesterday, thousands gathered at the funeral of Goldberg Poland in Jerusalem, paying their last respects to a young man who symbolizes the immense tragedy of this crisis. The pain is magnified because he was one of our own, having immigrated to Israel from California at such a tender age. His face has become a symbol of this horrific ordeal, and his untimely death has only strengthened the call for action against Hamas. Alongside me, the Israeli president, Isaac Herzog, stood at the funeral and offered his apologies on behalf of our great nation. Together we acknowledge the deep sorrow and acknowledge our failure to protect these hostages. We are united in our shared grief today. We stand before you with open hearts and a renewed determination to ensure that justice is served. Hamas will pay a heavy price for the pain they have inflicted on our people. We will not rest until all remaining hostages are brought home safely, until every family is reunited, and until our nation can heal from this traumatic chapter. To the families of the hostages, I cannot fathom the depth of your pain, but I want you to know that you are not alone. The entire nation mourns with you, and we will stand by your side throughout this journey. I ask for your forgiveness, understanding that it may take time for wounds to heal and trust to be rebuilt. But I assure you we will do everything in our power to ensure that such a tragedy is never repeated. Let us remember the courage and strength of those lost as we forge ahead towards a brighter and safer future for Israel. May their memories be a guiding light in our pursuit of justice, unity, and peace. Thank you, and may God bless our nation.